Once again, start. Good evening, Prasad sir. Good evening to you, Minakshi, Tripura Sundari. Come on, you are walking somewhere outside. Yes, uh, this is actually a walking track uh, by the side of a lake. Uh -huh. And uh, I'm standing amidst our uh, vegetable garden. So there is brinjal, uh, lady's finger and many other vegetables around. Oh, very good. Yeah. Vegetables, a so proper place. Yes, hmm. yes. Uh, now this vegetable garden and uh, greenery reminded me of an a important question which I wanted to pose to you. Okay, please proceed. The question is about the paradox which we are confronted with. Mm -hmm. on, on the one hand, uh, a lot of people have information about how to stay healthy, how to eat better, to take care of themselves. And uh, data also shows that uh, life expectancy has uh, improved uh, dramatically over the past many decades. Uh, yet at the same time, uh, we find illnesses like uh, depression and uh, increasing instances of dementia and Alzheimer's among older people, along with other debility is uh, associated with age. So, uh, what explains this contradiction of uh, healthcare facilities and knowledge on one side and uh, increasing instances of ill health, uh, both physical and mental, on the other? Oh, <clears throat> that's a very ex uh, essential question, a very extremely significant question uh, to be considered. Why? As you asked, people are becoming increasingly unhealthy, suffer from varied kinds of illnesses. Yeah. Uh, not to talk about virus attack and all that, that's all very transient, uh, artificially induced uh, uh, environmental and other situational variables. As you said, uh, depression, dementia, Parkinsonism, then diabetes, then various body uh, aches here and there, inability to uh, walk and all that uh, by old age. Uh, yeah, troubles of the liver, the kidney and things like that. Why? Despite good food, like you are standing near a vegetable garden, uh, good food and uh, controlled uh, uh, living to an extent, yes. I have also uh, reflected on this question, uh, though this question was reflected maybe centuries back, evidenced by the okay. classic tests of Dandandari Sangraham, Susurda Samhida, Charaga Samhida, then uh, treatise by uh, Supreme Rishis called, named Vagbada, Sarnidhara, Nagarjuna, Mrtinjaya, and uh, all those people. So when I uh, read those t texts, so those classics of uh, these wonderful rishis, I also wondered, so such varied illnesses were happening even at that olden times also, Minashri. Okay. Yeah. In fact, when I uh, read the books, uh, I could not understand the most of the illnesses referred to in the in the in the such uh, hundreds of illnesses were there at that time, or at least subsequently, the modern books in Ayurveda and uh, other Rasayanic traditions have been written maybe some thousand five hundred years back or a thousand years back. Even at that time, all these illnesses existed. Okay, and uh, like uh, people. Uh, environmentalists and uh, other scientists, scientists, geologists and observers say that right now the climate is changed, the atmosphere is highly polluted, vegetables are being corrupted by chemicals and fertilizers and other uh, preservatives and all that. Therefore, illnesses are induced and all that. Okay. Perhaps uh, they might have induced some slightly new versions of certain illnesses, that's all. But uh, most of the fundamental process illnesses are 
very dis clearly discussed in detail with its prognosis and diagnosis and uh, symptoms and things like that in all these books which I referred to earlier. Okay. So, uh, illnesses are uh, not necessarily due to uh, the factors uh, normally assumed by people. Okay? Rather, okay. it has been there even much before. Even Bible refers uh -huh. to Jesus curing illnesses of people. Okay? Okay. So, mm -hmm. now, there is an answer. In fact, it is Nagarjuna, one of okay. the later uh, uh, rishis of Ayurveda, who declares Raga di Roga. Uh. Hmm. Raga di Roga, a meaning, meaning, uh, if explained uh, it a uh, little bit in detail, Roga or uh, process illnesses occur to okay. human body by variations, complexities, uh. conflicts, or conflicting emotions and thoughts and uh, feelings and experiences and memories. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Part of this. That's uh, yeah. Uh, part of this you could uh, also recollect in our discussion on the uh, dynamics of mantra japa. We refer to yeah. the work of the brain and the autonomic nervous system and uh, yes. uh, uh, related uh, hormones and uh, glandular functions in, uh, in in a different context. So the same things can be. Uh, looked at from the angle of uh, occurrences of uh, varied illnesses that you referred to. No? It okay. starts from the uh. so-called mind or so-called yeah. thought process and uh, René Descartes said, I think, therefore I am. A oh, great majority of people are what they are thinking. So conflicting thought process, that's what uh, I also understood uh, uh, by my research and creative analytic thinking of people. When I interviewed some 5,000 people over a period of 20 years, I realized yeah. that a great majority of them do really suffer from conflicting thoughts. And as we okay. discussed in that dynamic of Mandra Java, what is a thought? Okay. Huh. Yeah, nothing but a neuronal process in the cerebral cortex. Correct. And neurons are not acting agents, so the electrical impulses go down to the spinal cord and get expressed uh, through the autonomic nervous system connections to the gl varied glands, especially the heart and the liver, and much more importantly, the entire digestive canal. Okay. So the beginning is with the uh, emotions and feelings and thoughts and uh, guilt feelings and uh, sustained uh, hatred and uh, worry and uh, anxiety and fear and all that. Okay. The psycho, psychological aspects. And uh, okay. because of this continuity of sustained uh, uh, impulse uh, uh, variations, electrical impulse yeah. variations, send across uh, through the autonomic nervous system to the heart and the liver and the lungs and the industrial canal, uh, the rudimentary projections of uh, 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 organic variation happens. I mean, cellular functional, huh. glandular functional variation happens. Okay. When sustained uh, over a longer period of time, uh, they become uh, kind of uh, what you call damage, uh, and uh, which leads to various manifestations of illnesses. Uh, ministry. And once it is taken okay. over by the organic yeah. matter, then. Yeah. Even if the so-called thought process have uh, been sort of negotiated and compromised and uh, eliminated, the, yeah. be, because the damage has happened to the matter, I mean the physiological substance, then it uh, okay. develops into diabetes, into heart problem, liver problem, kidney problem, and uh, mostly digestion problem. Okay? okay. And uh, problems in digestion meaning, not necessarily what we eat is passed through the motion. The absorption, the, the basic elementary canal engine gets uh, sort of uh, damaged. So all this together yeah. induces, induces illnesses. Depending upon the part of the system where it got damaged 
and the linkages okay. thereof in varied orbits. You know, we discussed about the five orbits: the primary orbit, the secondary orbit, the third orbit, fourth orbit. It expands uh, correspondingly, hmm, in uh, and uh, results in illnesses. Yeah, in the core. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, so then, uh, out, uh, out of the emotions, uh, when I refer yeah. to some of the books, hatred yeah. uh, uh, is the most uh, uh, powerful emotion in, okay. in, the, in the context of autonomic variations of impulse generation. Huh. Anger is, nobody can sustain anger for a longer time. Anger may be there, yes. but uh, expression yes. of anger is very uh, limited in time duration. So, an yes. a anger, yes. anger is anchored in CHORED yeah. in hatred. So, then second is jealousy. Uh, yeah. Very surprisingly, jealousy. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, then greed uh, for where it yeah. is. Yeah. Uh, then, um, then the Lord on the emotions uh, by holding on to uh, um, uh, difficult management of success. Okay. Uh, power, uh, po oh. popularity, fame, and so on and so forth. <coughs> yeah, it is okay. easy to manage a failure or normal or poor life ministry. It is much more complex to manage success and, uh, and okay. the kind of excitement it generates. So all this the poor okay. physiological system cannot uh, withstand for a longer time, which results uh -huh. in uh, cancer and Parkinsonism and uh, very old age problems and unfortunately okay. uh, people are not able to manage it at the required time required time uh -huh. meaning uh, till the age of average 35 to 40 for a standard human organism whatsoever be the variations uh, imposed upon the body will be managed because body is in that forward velocity by the organic physiological engine powers because body is new yes. you know? Like yes. a new vehicle, you can drive a little bit carelessly, change the gear, unnecessary acceleration, braking, uh, wrong clutch operation and all that. Okay. It will yes. somehow manage for at least one year. But uh, once yes. it is uh, old, uh, five, ten years uh, more, then if you do not manage it without uh, the required love and consideration, it will immediately show. Yes. Similarly, after the age of 40, yeah. at least 40, 45, uh, to be more precise, the system is in the other part of the inverted U curve, you know. Yes. Uh, then, the only, then only the so-called real qualities or real propensities of illnesses would uh, gradually start its presence. That's why we see huh. most of the patients uh, in the hospitals are in general above the age of 35, 40, 45. And definitely 60, 65, and 70, then people become weak. Uh, luckily, they suffer from dementia and uh, uh, they don't uh, recognize their body problems other than difficulty in walking and uh, so on and so forth. So, uh, uh, what was the intent of your question? Okay, now you understood. I know you already knew a little bit of yes. these things. What is the intent uh, right now of asking this question? Yeah, so the intent was uh, uh, number one to understand the linkage between the mind and body. Okay. And number two, uh, to use it also as an interpretative tool. Now, uh, what do I mean by an interpretative tool? When people are young, most of them look nice, they look fit, uh, they look healthy. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think a true test of a person physical and more importantly mental health and well-being uh, can be assessed when you find a person who is 45 plus precisely. or 50 or 55 and continues to be healthy and fit. Precisely, precisely. Which is a reflection of... Uh, actually the mind, the mental quality. <laughs> yes, exactly. So that becomes a very important barometer of the mental qualities of a person yeah. uh, by seeing the body of an individual. So I thought this would be a good way of assessing the mind of a person but just by just looking at the physical structure of the individual and his well-being. Uh, certainly, certainly. 
There could be a slight exceptions if we discuss in an academic way. There could be exceptions because yeah. of uh, uh, difficult lifestyle, difficult work situations, uh, and uh, poor quality of food uh, uh, by chance of eating from outside, uh, and uh, other virus attacks, uh, and uh, various other illnesses cured by immediate block imposed by the chemical western medicine and things like that. That also could be there. But they are all very transient. It, it, uh, I don't think uh, any one of them can have such a lasting impact on the body as you said now. Like uh, ah. people above the age, let us say, approximately let us say the conventional 60 years and above. Yeah. Or uh, if their bodies are not in proper shape of a healthy standard human entity, Definitely, their minds have been managed very wrongly uh, during their younger times or later. Oh. Yes, because body is the mind. Mind is the body. There exactly. is a mind. There yeah. is no gland, there yeah. is no organ called mind. Mind, whatever yeah. we call as mind, unfortunately we use that word, is to refer to basically the emotional, feeling, temperamental uh, attitude, uh, values and kind of things, okay? Yeah. Uh, such a, such a great range of things are there because of the facility of the uh, huge neuronal assembly, the thousand <laughs> thousand hooded serpent of the neuronal assembly in the brain, and it's uh, okay. it's uh, generated the electrical field. We are nothing <laughs> but an electrical field generated by the continuous yes. firing of the neurons. Hmm. You, know, you studied uh, uh, something called the five phenomena in physics? No, I, yeah. I don't, or I don't recollect uh, it. PHI-5, uh, PHI-5 okay. phenomenon. That experiment uh. in the physics laboratory is like, you know, two bulbs uh, uh, on, a, on, a, on, a, on a frame in a certain distance. Yeah. The distance uh. between the two bulbs can be slightly arranged by turning a knob, okay? And okay. then with a metronome, metronome meaning a timing ah. instrument, we can give okay. supply electrical current to bulbs in an alternating fashion. If bulb A goes, okay. current comes, it lights, then it goes to B, then B, the light B, uh, bulb B lights up, and the speed of this uh, entry of current can be controlled again. That means the okay. distance between two bulbs and the ah. speed of uh, this bulb uh, burning can be controlled hmm? okay. by two independent uh, control system. Okay. Uh, uh. Uh, that means we can keep both the bulbs on, we can keep both the bulbs off, we can keep one bulb, then the other bulb alternatingly and all that. So the point which we are referring to is, uh, uh, by the name Phi phenomenon is uh, uh. alternating lighting of the bulbs. Okay. 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 In a okay. certain critical distance between the two bulbs and ah. in a certain critical speed of supply of current, you will not yeah. see two bulbs. Instead, you will see a no. beam of light, only a beam of light, no two okay. independent bulbs. Ah. Only a beam of light will be visible. Okay. That is because of the uh, unique uh, intermittent continuity of bulbs burning one after the other. Okay. Uh, ha, ha, so, ha. okay. Uh, uh, by the way, the the, the the method of uh, film projection, the conventional uh. film projection, uh, uh, was discovered from this five phenomenon principle only. Oh, okay. Understood. Yeah. Uh, that uh. is in the conventional films. Okay. 36 frames per second is passing through in front of the light and the lens. Yeah. In that continuity of frames, in which every frame has a slight variation from the previous frame, you see a definite and a, a very convincing continuous movement of the images on the screen of the theatre. Okay. That is normally 36 frames per second. So okay. similar, that is just a, uh, uh, one film passing. Now, okay. uh, if ah. you also remember a little bit of anatomy, the neurons yeah. of the brain are also yeah. like uh, intermittently uh, firing and then switch off. It, it yes. is called all or none principle. A neuron fires, okay. then it is silent for some time, it will recharge. Yeah. Again it fires. Mm. 
So when it fires, okay. it fires in full. Uh, therefore, it is also called the all or none principle. Either it fires full okay. for electricity or it does not. Ah. All or okay. none principle. So now ah. you visualize ah. one projector projecting 36 frames per second, you see continuous action on the screen. Okay? Yes. Now, millions of neurons are firing intermittently. Yeah. That only generates the continuity of consciousness, Minashi. Yes. Got it? Yeah. Yeah. So, which, yes. I, which yes. I call the continuity yes. principle. Huh. So, huh. uh, and that firing of the neurons, reflecting among themselves, yeah. you feel it as the consciousness. The you. Okay. And which yeah. are the neurons firing? All those neurons which have uh, networked to record your data, your biodata, your learning, your experience, your memory. All these uh -huh. neurons are going on firing one after the other. It is also called the Wally principle, V O L L E Y. So, okay. So, uh, Wally principle is applied during conventional warfare. Okay. When only in a, in a 303 gun, only one bullet can come at a time and the enemy is standing there. Okay. So if there are uh, 30 soldiers, by the time one fires, uh. the next one fires, then the next one fires, then the next one fires, by the time the first one is ready loaded with a bullet. See? Okay. Uh, it is called uh. the Wally principle. Same is the principle okay. of the firing of the neurons. Mm. Mm. So. These neurons, mm -hmm. with uh, the so-called, uh, I think, therefore, I am the 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 a word. Uh, rather, there are no, you know, we have discussed this before. The language we talk are not written anywhere. Our memories are not written anywhere in any script. Our uh, yeah. ability to identify feelings and emotions and uh, our attitudes, our values, our perspectives, our notions, our uh, all those things are all electrical potentialities already trained during early childhood and recorded there in order to repeat whenever it is triggered. Yeah. Hmm? All right. So uh, yeah. serious emotions. Just imagine huh. if when you remember uh, what you call. Uh, uh, a parable of uh, or a beautiful fairy tale of sleeping princess eh? yeah. what all will be the kind of uh, neurons that uh, record that memory hmm? and we can imagine what all kind of neurons would be triggered when you remember your hatred towards somebody the hatred to yeah. kill someone the hatred to insult yeah. someone the hatred to intimidate yeah. someone the hatred to uh, uh, humiliate and damage someone out of enmity yes. and jealousy. Okay? Yeah. So, as you said, if you understand the body design theories, which was there in the beginning in India, okay, there are people who look at somebody and who talk a lot about the truth of that person. I suppose you, you, exactly. would, remo yes. you would remember yes. our, our genius local here, Dharmalingam, okay? So, yeah, he had uh, some blessing yes. uh, and he just looks at the person and he could tell great lot of details about him just by a single look that he did by looking at the body only. My God! Yeah, that's what he told me. There must be something so like that is. because just looking at the person and again not at all looking then he is able to ah. tell even the top secrets of that person which only oh, he knew. Know. Yeah. That yes. much the body reveals something, some signals to him. Okay, he is extra sensitive to that kind of a dimension, which happened due to again, some of the brain process got triggered due to some unique experience which he did not tell me even when I tried to interview him. Anyway, coming yes. back to the point, yes. uh, huh. I would say, even the other day huh. I was arguing with, uh, uh, with a kind of a trainer. Yeah. Uh, a lady only, and she is uh, uh, going to what you call uh, old age homes huh? and meeting ah. patients and uh, giving them counseling and uh, uh, especially she expressed their deep concern for abandoned parents, okay? Okay. <laughs> then I told her, okay, now at the age of 70, 75, 80 and all that, 
they look very weak and very much eligible for your kindness and sympathy and all that, okay? Lean, unhealthy, uh-huh. having a cough or uh-huh. all kinds of illnesses, okay? They are all constantly under medication. Okay. But uh, uh-huh. now, if you go and if you get some time, uh, engage uh-huh. in a conversation. What was uh-huh. he? What was his job? How did he do okay. his job? Of course, he would uh-huh. not say most of the unethical things and the criminal things or antisocial things or um, his hatred and jealousy and other manipulative activities. But uh, mm. perhaps if there is an element of resentment or repentance, he may say also, provided you ask mm. him a question, what happened to you? Yeah. Your own son and daughter uh, have abandoned you. You are very mm. rich. Okay. What do you think of the reason? They, he mm. may say, I did not do anything to them. Then why it mm. happened? So yeah. perhaps uh, I told this lady, you should be a very competent interviewer without direct act, direct questions. Yeah. You can elicit uh, those kind of uh, um, kind of confessions uh. from people. Yes. So what I mean to say that there is a reason by which they became ill. Yeah. Most of them are yeah. ill. That's why they yeah. were abandoned into the old age homes, according to what she said. Yeah. yeah. Because the young couple, because of varied contextual and cultural and evolutionary reasons, they would like to so-called enjoy their life and they could not stay in the conventional joint family settings at all because of employment, education, role positions and they would go, okay? And they would go yeah. and settle in maybe in US or Los Angeles or Bombay or Calcutta or even they would like to stay in another house in the very location. Because they want to yeah. have their own so-called uh, time and uh, discussions and enjoyment. They would like to just let that go for a film at 11 o'clock in the night. If they are staying yeah. with the parents, they won't feel comfortable to do that, for example. So like yeah. that, uh, yeah. um, they cannot go because the father is ill, father is weak, the mother is weak. And moreover, yeah. as far as I have met a few people, they are all mm-hmm. very boring, very dull people. And they look very unhealthy and uh, I would even say, Minashi, that most of these young people uh, would Uh like to abandon their parents because actually they cannot uh, manage their depression when they look at the face of the father and mother. Okay. You Uh get the point? Yeah. The same yeah. father and mother once upon a time looked so healthy and so smart and moving around and used to get angry with them and all those. And the same father yeah. is looking very weak, not able to walk, not able to talk, not able to see, not able to hear, not able to eat, not able to go to toilet and all that. This young man yeah. just cannot bear it in his mind, you know. He feels very depressed. So best way is to avoid, okay? okay? So, uh-huh. after a few days he forgo- has forgotten. Yeah. Okay. So, it is what a Freudian defense way, it's, it's an avoidance reaction, I, I am very sure, at least for 50 to 60 percent of the young people who abandon their parents, not necessarily in old age uh-huh. homes, but in their own homes, okay. is because they just cannot manage their uh, unhappiness <laughs> or sadness or, uh, or worry, hmm? or uh, transient depressions when they see such weak parents. So, what I mean, okay, we have gone little uh, beyond our topic of discussion, which, which, which is in a way connected with the point you mentioned, you know. It is. A uh, human is, yes. being, when I say, always say, when every cat is a cat, is a cat, a human being with all this intelligence and technological advancement and uh, high education and holding high role positions, it is a kind of a tragedy that they end up weak and debilitated and ill and end up in hospital beds by the time they're, they're, they're 70, 75, 80. And precisely, yes. existentially, that is the time they should be enjoying. Yeah. No? Because they yes. worked hard and created a lot of wealth, eh? uh, beautiful cars and beautiful residences, okay? Uh, beautiful yes. gardens, uh, beautiful friends, they are not able to experience it, you know. Yes, what is the that point? Is the yes, that is the real tragedy. 
What yes. is the point if somebody feels that uh, I was the, what you call, uh, Prime Minister of the country or uh, uh, Chief Minister or Vice President, President, CEO of such and such global company and now I am bedridden. What is the point? Because at no, that I point of this. time, there is no more point of time. Yes. So, it is so sad that uh, young people are not aware to manage their minds uh, and uh, to refrain from uh, jealousy and hatred and greed and what I call the speed trap of achievement and uh, anxiety and uh, all those things. Yes. True. So, uh, yeah. uh, when you take sessions for the young managers and uh, uh, potential future managers, just uh, remind them. Because even if you tell them, they won't understand at that point of time. But uh, yes. just to give them yes. a piece of wisdom to manage that also, if they want to have real meaning at the old age, yeah. there, was, there was a beautiful short story by one of the genius short story writers in Kerala by name Vaikam Muhammad Bashir. He had okay. uh, written a beautiful story by name Nupapa Quran and Arnu. That means my grandfather had an elephant. Okay. Which was a great credit at that point of time. And now, huh. this guy is completely a pauper. He has no money to eat, no clothes to wear, no uh, nothing. And But he okay. claims to people that uh, my grandfather had an elephant. What okay. is the point if the grandfather had an elephant? Now I am starving, you know. This huh. is the situation with a lot of people. You know? Okay. What is the point at the old age somebody is going to Thiruvannamali or going to Uttarakasi and meditate and uh, go to temples and ashrams and all, would not work. The foundation yeah, should have been be laid. Done. Yeah, foundation should have been laid. Yes. Then only you can okay. construct a, a palace of understanding at any point of time. At the age of 70 you just yes. cannot have a foundation. True. So, so, Prasad sir, yes, using please. the same thing, there's another, another thought that comes to my mind. That okay. uh, the modern society, huh. with its uh, competitive nature, which induces jealousy uh, among people and hatred among people mm -hmm. and constant uh, struggle to outshine each other, mm -hmm. is in a way creating its own patience uh, for its hospitals and uh, other uh, care centers. Yeah. So you're manufacturing that uh, so that you're, peri you're perennially in business. Absolutely. Rather than focusing on uh, keeping people healthy and uh, finding peace within themselves. <laughs> you're talking about an utopian society of elimination. <laughs> Precisely, I would say the medical industry definitely won't. As many yeah. people as possible, as patients in their, be, yes. uh, as their clients. Correct. Because they are all multi-billion, yes. multinational companies, the top rich companies in the world. They are all medical companies, I mean manufacturing companies. Yes. Look at the uh, yeah. number of huge hospitals coming to India, very luxury hospitals, with all kinds of yeah. modern technologies, all kinds of diagnostic tools. Hospital industry it has become. So that means increasing number of patients and that too, yes. as you would say, as far as I have gone to two, three places and uh, uh, by some of the informants, great majority of patients in the top class hospitals in India are from the affluent, rich uh, strata of the society, economic strata. Yeah. Yeah, you have also seen. Uh, I am living in a place of the poorest of poor people. They don't have any major yeah. illnesses. Yeah. So, so there must be definitely unethical practices, unethical uh, uh, practices with uh, internal conflicts, suppressed internal conflicts. Okay.
in a Freudian theory you are suppressing, you have a conflict that you are going to do a, 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 a thing of insulting a colleague or humiliating somebody or uh, fooling somebody or bribing, uh, sorry, taking bribery etc. Huh? And all these people know that it is incorrect and wrong and bad, okay? And yeah. they cover it up, they suppress it up and then do it, okay? They are all uh, human entities. So they are aware and that awareness is generated and that awareness is suppressed. That Freudian theory, you know, suppressed emotions become more powerful. And they cannot, uh, yeah. they cannot release that suppressed emotion. What you call catharsis is not possible. So what a lot of people in general do is they go to the bar, to the liquor shop, they take a lot of liquor in the evening and they talk it out and shout and laugh and all those things. But that all cannot release the suppress the resentments and guilt feeling and hatred and all those things. Yes. Yeah. All temporary fixes. So the best way is to uh, educate people. That's why I have been telling. I even uh, uh, wanted to straight away uh, talk to the head of a nation that they must compulsorily introduce to some basic principles of psychology in schools and uh, uh, to plus two level. Compulsorily. Yeah. Then I am sure 50% of this problem can be resolved. And I am sure there must be a conspiracy. There must be a conspiracy, especially by the various powerful religions in the world uh, or other political economic forces to avoid uh, that part of psychology from classrooms of the schools. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, because the general psychology would clearly give them a picture of how to manage the mind. No, they learn how yeah, to yeah. manage uh, physics and yes. uh, chemistry and uh, mathematics and uh, all those things. But uh, not even a single lesson on defense mechanisms or the various uh, process of the mind, you know? Yes. And uh, uh, lucky people are born to wonderful parents who are ethical, who, um, uh, who talk wonderful dialogues uh, and create a... Uh, uh, a sensible and uh, intellectual ambience at home. How many people can do that? Those who can yes. do that, they don't have the time. Those who have the time, they don't have the mindset, they don't have the intellect, they don't have the knowledge. Yes. They are all trapped in a, an artificially created uh, survival uh, competitive race. Okay. Yes. Survival, of course, but uh, what is the point of uh, uh, million dollar bank balance and uh, all the time taking tablets to breathe properly? Yes. Many of these people, they just cannot even enjoy good food which they love. You know? Some intestinal <laughs> cancer, some liver problem, some heart problem, some digestion problem. Yeah. They say in our Sainic tradition we check, uh, you know, the, the astrological aspect, the planetary positions uh, as a methodology to know the eligibility of a person to be cured from serious illnesses. Oh. No. We yes. talked about Ragadi Raga, okay? Even without Ragadi, yeah. there can be serious illnesses. That is... Okay. Uh, uh, whatever, by, whatever, by, the, by the philosophy, whatever is carried over from the previous Janma or the Pavam, the word of sin is used in the very textbook Ashtanga Hridayam of Ayurveda. The Pavam done by okay. the person or his or her parents would only lead to major illnesses. And the Vaidya who is treating them is doing Pavam. Because who is he? Who is he using the wisdom from the great wishes to provide antidote to these people who must travel the dangerous down curve of the inverted you? Who are you to yes. salvage them? Yes. So, <laughs> now we are coming to a point. Other than Raga the Roga, Roga is a part of destiny too, Minashi. Destiny. 
Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I can thank you to some of the, the uh, yeah, please. Yeah, thank you for the very enlightening uh, discussion, Prasad sir. Uh, we have touched upon so many points and uh, I think we can uh, discuss uh, the destiny that we met in another interview very soon. Okay, all right. How many kilometers you walked? <laughs> uh, five. Oh, oh wonderful. Uh, <laughs> Okay. How old is your body now? 54. Very good. Uh, in fact, there was a very interesting, uh, uh, you know, a service uh, offered by one medical company last week in the institute. Hmm. So, uh, the service was, they have a, a, a device by which they analyze uh, the various parameters of the body, including body age. Uh-huh. Yes. So uh, many people opted for us because it's a free service. Many people uh, came. I was very curious to find out my body age. So <laughs> I also went. Mm -hmm. And uh, the people were telling me that several 20 and 30 year old people had body ages of 40, 50, etc. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I did my analysis, my chronological age and body age are exactly the same. Okay, wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that I'm is, uh, that, is the, that is the correct body. Yes, correct body, correct body. 54 years and uh, 7 months and uh, the the machine also said 50, uh, 50, uh, no, 53 years and 7 months. Uh, the machine also said 54 years because that's the accuracy oh, okay, which okay, it okay. says. So my, yeah, my chronological and body age are exactly the same. So I wonder then... Which is very interesting for me. I wonder what will be the body age when those people check their uh, uh, same parameter when they are 54. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Several of them have already crossed 50. <laughs> yeah. So, so uh, as much as possible, try to gently remind uh, your colleagues and your students and your trainees about the need of managing their mind rather yes, than managing yes, their. I do that in my uh, classes. Uh, yes. Rather than getting worried about small head eyes and BPs and cholesterols and uh, diabetes and all that, they should be. Uh, they should <coughs> introspect uh, about themselves. Uh, about the quality of transactions happen in their mind. Yes. And uh, to ask for forgiveness uh, uh, from their own parents uh, who may have cursed them, you know? Yeah. That also could be a reason. Mm -hmm. Or some elderly people, some okay. some teachers, some well-meaning individuals, maybe a passerby. We, would, we do not know who have huh. that kind of a power. Even they themselves do not know, you know? Like this, what you call, huh. um, what you call, Buryana Survala, you know? Ah, uh, yeah. Yes. Some people have that power. Uh, yeah. Yes. Some people yes. we do not know and even they do not know. It is not correct to intimidate yes. and uh, or even offend by a look or by expressions or by responses or by behavior or by dialogue. Uh, some people, it could be younger to you, it could be elder to you, it could be a stranger, it could be... Uh, 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 father figure or parents, you know, we do not know because every human entity is an energy field of this particle universe. Yes. Ah. Some of them may have that can kind of coincidentally develop the focusing of attention. A moment of their uh, feeling dejected by the behavior of somebody. It can have a consequence, not the uh. next moment. How does it get stagged, yes. you know, S-T-S-E-K-E-D, what I call if you do some wrong today, nothing will happen tomorrow. Just by the, what you call mm -hmm. like a stack principle. Till 99 degree, the, mm -hmm. the water remains more or less to save. The last yes. critical turning point of 1 degree only changes the entire thing into huge boiling movements. That is again yeah. another tragedy I would say of human beings. They do all, all kinds of uh, mm -hmm. erratic things, bad things, uh, wrong things. Uh, to others especially and they get their wrath okay and nothing happens okay 
Nothing happens. So they think it is all right. But uh, yes. that, that moment of energy shot, a small bullet shot, a small injury, it will add yeah. on, not now, by the time 60, 65, 70. Yeah. Otherwise, why human beings should be ill at this serious level, Minashi, let them explain. Let the yes. mechanical Western world explain. Okay, okay, Minashi, thank you for your questions and uh, I envisage uh, this kind of uh, brilliant discussions with, with you, Minashi. Thanks a lot. We will continue that. Okay. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you so much. Bye. Good evening. Good evening. Bye. bye. bye.